Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam, and if you love luxury fashion, then you're definitely going to love my channel. So make sure you like and subscribe, turn on those notification bells for all of the latest updates, and today I have a very cool and random unboxing video for you guys. So originally I went into Versace because I really wanted to purchase the brand new La Medusa bag. However, for me specifically, I really wanted in black with gold hardware and the color purple as well. However, unfortunately for me, they only make these two specific colors in the size medium and small. So when I got to the store, I felt like the medium was just a little small for me. And comparing it to the actual size small, I felt like there wasn't really a big enough difference to invest my money in that specific bag at the moment. Now, they do make this bag in a size large. However, currently it only comes in orange, of course, all black. And they do have this really cute taupe color as well. The taupe color, it is really cute. It is on my wish list, but it's just not the first one that I want to add to my collection. So personally, I decided to wait until the end of the year because I'm sure that they will release the size large in more colors and more varieties. So it's really just a waiting game for me. However, when I was like browsing the store, of course I do want the fur shoes bag. Now, the fur shoes, I do understand that it is going to be part of their classic collection. So I know like later in the year, it will definitely still be there. But one item that will not still be there is their brand new mixed hobo bags. Those are definitely seasonal, season 2021 for sure. And when I seen it, I just thought, it, you know, it was so cute and I just felt like it was the right time. So this bag you may have seen in my previous video, my come shopping with me vlog. Um, I did see it. I thought it was very cute but I didn't purchase it at the time. However, it turns out that I now have it today. So let's unbox it for you guys. So of course it does come in a shopping bag and inside of course is the box. So now we have the box and of course this one is so cute. I'm definitely keeping this one for decoration. Of course it says Versace. It has the cute bands closing the box. That way everything is cute and intact. So I think that's cool. This one is definitely a really cute box. If you know me personally, you know that I am a sucker for packaging and I love good packaging. So this one, I'm like, oh, yes, I love it. Oh, I'm so excited to take off the band and open the box. Cool, cool. So cute. I'm like, I can't. I'm like, oh, it's so crazy. I can't. It's like so cute already. I'm like, so with the box open, we can see that the packaging is already so great already. Um, I am so excited. We have the cute new Versace tissue paper with Medusa looking gorgeous as ever. Come on, Medusa. So we go ahead and open this. So now that the box is open, you can see that the bag itself is so absolutely cute. Such a bright pop of color. I am so obsessed with it. It's so unlike me to get a pop of color when it comes to handbags. And this is my first like pop of color piece and it is so worth it. Besides gray and black, um, purple is my favorite color, especially the shade. So this one is absolutely everything to me. This one is made out of nylon, and this one is called the Mixed Print Hobo Bag. Um, it does retail for $7.75, which is around the same price point as Prada's nylon bags. So it is like an affordable price when it comes to luxury, that's for sure. And this one is so cute, and it's like everything. So taking it out of the box, of course, you know, you do get a dust bag. Normal cotton a dust bag, but it's just like the Prada ones that I have. And the rest is just tissue paper. The bag does come with an envelope. It has the price tag as well. And of course, your authenticity card. So now taking a closer look at the Versace bag, you can see that the color of it is absolutely beautiful. So colorful and so vibrant. The Medusa detailing on it is absolutely stunning. This bag is covered in the mosaic print and does have a Medusa head on the tassel itself. This bag is made out of calfskin leather for the handle, the tassel, and the trim. Everywhere else on the bag will be nylon. On the bottom and sides, we do have the purple leopard print. This bag does have gold hardware and a gold zipper. You will see some gold buttons as well. I will show you later on how you can wear this bag in two different ways. So the bag itself, it is just so, so cute. Um, especially like when it comes to like wearing this sweater, a cute like little bit oversized sweater. This is so cute for the look. Now this one is a hobo bag, not a shoulder bag. So even though it looks like you have room, it is like a very tight squeeze to get your arm in there. 
um, you're definitely going to like wrinkle the top of it a little bit and it's easier if you have like a tank top on for sure so if you're wearing like a tank top it's such a plus with this bag it'll be easier for your shoulder um however you know anything else you know just kind of like crinkle the top here even though this is a hobo bag it does have the rings right here so personally i really really want to get a purple chain the same chain that does come with the la medusa bag and i want to hook it on the sides right here that way i can have like a crossbody moment I think it would look so cute crossbody with a purple strap. Of course, you can even have like a little Medusa hanging off the chain itself. That would be super cool. So it does have a tassel right here. It is made out of calfskin leather, this cute little leather tassel. It does have a Medusa head featured right here. Now, originally this used to be a fee for the Virtues fee. However, they did discontinue that. So now they do have it replaced with an actual Medusa head. So if you do have like the original one that did come out, then yeah, you might have the fee for the fruit juice. So right here, we do have a magnetic button. So you can actually wear this bag two different ways. You can go ahead and button it up and have such a cute moment like this. The tassel hangs perfectly in the center and it is just so cute. Having it swing back and forth is like everything. This pop of color, I'm like so in love with it. Um, this way I get so many more compliments on than like originally, but I will say that on um, this bag in general, I've never received so many compliments on one bag in a day than when it comes to this one. So cool, so versatile, you can wear it in multiple different ways, you can button it, unbutton it, either way, it's just so cute and definitely worth getting. Um, if you don't have this for your collection, I highly recommend this bag. The zipper is kind of cheap on it, I will say, like even like when I unzip it, you can kind of hear it a little bit. It's just not like a stern and sturdy zipper. Inside, you know, it is nylon. Um, not really nice and roomy in here. I was worried that if I put too much in the bag that like the bottom of it might sag down. I do not have that issue, so that is definitely a plus. Um, really cute. Fits everything that I do need in it. Inside, it is really cool. I will be doing a what fits inside my bag very shortly, so stay tuned for that. Ooh, that's cute. I never noticed that. So I just pulled this out right now. I never noticed that this purple tag was inside that says like Versace, made in Italy. Of course it has like your little thing you can scan at the store and then it'll tell you like if it's authentic or not. Um, that way like if you don't have the receipt and anything rips, anything breaks, you can always replace it. So one thing you must know is when I originally seen this bag, I was a little nervous. This is the last one that they did have in the store. And right here, it did have a few wrinkles on it, and I was worried, I was like, are those wrinkles ever going to come out? Turns out, since it is made out of nylon, you could actually just steam it. So, um, I was so happy because when I was at the boutique, I've never actually steamed anything before. So my sales associate, Nick, he went ahead and was like, oh yeah, that's fine, I could actually steam it for you. So he took the bag, and he took his little steamer, and he steamed it, and then it came out perfectly, like, brand new. There is absolutely no lines, no wrinkles at all. So if that is something that you are worried about, like does it wrinkle, will it crease? Don't worry about it. Take like a cute little steamer and then you can get it out. Absolutely no problem. So here we have it, the Versace Mixed Print Hobo Bag. Would I recommend this? 100% yes, absolutely. This one is just so cute. The pop of color is absolutely everything. Um, if you don't have it in your collection, I 100% recommend that you should definitely get it. I totally feel that this one definitely is going to be a collectible in the future. Like, it's going to be so hard to find, I truly feel like. I've never actually seen anyone wear it, not even really in photos. And I'm surprised. I feel like it's such an underrated bag. Um, it fits everything I need. There's multiple ways to wear it. You can wear it like this, or you could button it up. You can add a chain for like a crossbody vibe. So versatile, I cannot recommend it enough. It is nylon, so it is very easy to clean. And yeah, I 100% recommend this. Okay, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment below, tell me your thoughts on the specific bag. Make sure you check out my last video if you haven't already, and have a great day. Au revoir.